All right, welcome back, Crime Stoppers. Can't believe it's taking um, multiple takes to make a video with such simple information in it. <laughs> Bottom line, vitamin D. If I screw up, the, the takeaway from this is high levels of vitamin D protect you against the Rona. Simple as that. Um, 31 nanograms per milliliter or more. Uh, at 31 nanograms, nobody's showing up in hospitals. Right? It's rare for them to show up in hospitals, very few. Um, below 31 nanograms per milliliter of vitamin D, um, you get 96% of patients showing up at 90 at uh, 30 nanograms and below. Um, down at 20, 92%, that's where you start getting 92% uh, of the bad cases, bad outcomes. Um, that's at 90, that's at uh, 20. Um, down here at 4 nanograms per milliliter. Uh, that is, you know, that's basically Ricketts level. You're almost dead anyway. And now, here's the other thing. Um, doctors, um, your idiot doctor, the, the one with the stethoscope and the white lab coat that, that has a God complex, um, whose education and information all comes from pharmaceutical companies that do not have your best interests in mind and charge you, well, they're trying to charge you $1,000 a pill for a cure um, or for something that that's effective. Hydroxychloroquine, um, only 62 cents a pill. Combine it with zinc and you, you get good outcomes. Most of these people, um, many of them were treated this way and had tremendously good outcomes. From 0 to 65, um, you basically, if you look at the various studies that have come back with thousands of people in them, uh, nobody dies in this 0 to 65 age range if they don't have other complications and contraindications. Let's get back to vitamin D. At 40 nanograms per milliliter, and by the way, most lifeguards are up at 70. So um, your doctor that's telling you that 30 is uh, toxic and that this should be optimal and over that, that's, uh, you know, you're worried about vitamin D toxicity. Um, too much time in the sun isn't going to make you vitamin D toxic. Just simple as that. Um, we find that uh, hunter-gatherers and people that live outdoors under the sun, um, oftentimes th their blood serum is going to be up around 120, right? Four times the amount of where doctors are telling you that you, uh, anyway, watch the Cliff High video. Um, I'm just summarizing what he has there. And uh, basically what he was saying is that his doctor is such a dumbass that he was worried that uh, at, he was, uh, Cliff High was up at about 70 himself because he gets a lot of sun and he's outside and likes to surf and so on. Um, and his doctor was like worried that he was going to somehow have some kind of ill effects from too much vitamin D in his, in his blood. Like he was going to drop dead. Um, that's how ignorant your doctor is of, of, basic nutrition, vitamins, and minerals. Um, just like a lot of them were uh, starting out, they weren't getting as good of a result with just using hydroxychloroquine by itself, and then they started adding the zinc, and then lo and behold. Um, vitamin C. This is, that should, that's not a seven, that's just greater than uh, one uh, milliliter, or excuse me, one milligram per deciliter, which works out to about 22, using Cliff High's math, I didn't check his math, works out to about 22 milligrams per pound milligrams per pound, um, milligrams, that's not much, go read Linus Pauling stuff about vitamin C, and let's go that way, and there you go, you can get more of it, okay, so vitamin C, above one milligram per deciliter, uh, you have, uh, basically nobody showing up, again, zero percent of the people that are showing up in hospitals have, uh, vitamin C levels this high, um, it's rare if you're just right at one, Below one, that's where 96% of them are. So, um, I'm, again, I'm just using uh, Cliff's basically. Above this line, you're basically immune. Um, and that's just to the Rona. What about flu? What about uh, uh, rhino? What about, I mean, there's a bunch of different things that give us, quote unquote, the common cold. And what they've done is finally told you the cure for the common cold. Get vitamin D into you. Simple as that. Vitamin D, vitamin C. And then you see a couple of things I wrote down here. Sulfur. I've made videos about sulfur. I've made, uh, well, I don't think I've made a whole video just about magnesium, but there's another one that's very important, and vitamin C, and vitamin D. There you go. And most people supplement with more than that anyway, but the idea, because you need your B vitamins and so forth, but the one you need, um, the primary one, vitamin D, and it's free. You stand in the sun. Here in Hawaii, they're telling you not to go to the beach, or they were trying to tell you not to go to the beach. These people are... I don't have words. All right, uh, spread the information. Vitamin D. Oh, we have a cure. Vitamin D. Nobody showing up in hotels, hotels, hospitals. Well, nobody's showing up in hotels either. That's a true statement. Um, but nobody's showing up in the hospitals 
uh, for that need treatment. Oh, and by the way, these people over here, these people that were rare that had this much, um, their disease did not progress. They didn't start. Needing, they didn't need a ventilator. They didn't keep getting worse, worse, and worse. The people down here, um, especially down here, uh, they got worse, 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 and many of them died right before they came back. And a lot of them, they needed like um, you know heroic treatment uh, to come back, like you know getting injections of antibodies, that HCQ, um, you know, etc. The ones that wound up on ventilators down here, right, with uh, low levels of vitamin D and low levels of vitamin C. This is not conspiracy theory. This is not, this is just straight up fact. Simple. Um, many studies are going to bear this out over time. Spread the information. Vitamin D and vitamin C. Simple as that. Uh, you're worried. Um, it's not a mask that's going to protect you. It's vitamin D and vitamin C. What are you doing? You're building your immune system. right? You already have an immune system. They try to tell you not to go in the sun. They try to tell you that, I mean, that, go look up, um, and you'll need a good search engine, the war on vitamin C. There's been a war on vitamin C for the longest time because the pharmaceutical companies make no money off of this, and people that have large amounts of vitamin C need fewer treatments. People that have large amounts of vitamin D need fewer of their pharmaceuticals. And again, your doctors are peddlers. That's all they are at this point. They peddle uh, medicine, and it's not medicine. It's pharmacology. Go look that word up in etymology. What does it mean? Is it, is it makers of poison or is it makers of medicine? Go look for yourself. Um, but anyway, they, they peddle pharmacology for the pharmaceutical companies. They're educated by them. Their studies come from them. Um, if they go against them, they lose their licenses. Um, if they say anything, I mean, right? You're, you're not going to hear this information from your doctor. That's for damn sure. Um, well, maybe a few, but as soon as they say anything, they'll get removed from YouTube, they'll be pulled down, that's why you're watching this on BitChute, um, they'll get pulled down, they'll get censored, they'll get in trouble, they'll lose their license, like I said, they'll get fined, they'll get maybe even imprisoned, just for telling you about vitamin D and vitamin C and for going against the grain. Right? These doctors that are talking about data, what is it, um, Dr. Judy um, Mikovits, uh, Miskovitz, whatever her name is, I got her Oh, really? I don't have it here. I had it up until... Yes, I do. <clears throat> How corrupt these guys are. So what is it? It's uh, Mikovitz. There you go. Mikovitz. I don't know how she pronounces it. But anyway, it's uh, get her stuff. Uh, good stuff. Um, she's talking about data. Those other two doctors whose names I totally don't remember and, and probably couldn't pronounce either. But um, those two doctors, uh, those two men that we're talking about, um, their first-hand knowledge of the what they'd seen in their clinics taken down other doctors right okay so like i said can't 100 percent blame them because as soon as they try to speak they get in trouble but uh, we've gotten to the point now where um first amendment right under full attack uh pulling videos down um trying to silence people uh making sure that they don't get on in the mainstream media and so on um your mainstream media should be they should be if they were on your side they'd be all over this they'd be telling you this left and right um, you wouldn't be able to turn on the TV without uh, hearing about this. But no, you don't hear about this, do you? So again, um, just get in the sun, right? Take a look at these numbers. Take a look at the video below. I'll put another link down there also, and maybe a couple other links. And maybe um, here on BitChute, people often uh, put links and other entertaining memes and so forth beneath videos. Um, I encourage you to do so. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Make your own video and just explain that um, vitamin D is your cure, basically, is your defense. It's also a prophylactic. It makes it so you don't get it. Same thing with HCQ. If you learn about HCQ, uh, and I'll put three videos, and, and I'll just look at my channel. There's other videos um, from, from this woman right here um, that were taken down. I put three different interviews that were pulled down off of YouTube up on BitChute. Um, I'm not monetizing, not trying to make any money off of this. I'm not asking for anything. Uh, just get the information out there because what we've got going on in this country right now is absolute and utter ridiculousness. 26 states are open, uh, all Republican, 24 states closed. Actually, that's not true. We just have one move over. Wisconsin just figured out that, um, yeah, um, First Amendment still stands. Anyway, um, 100th Monkey out. Hope you guys are having a good... <laughs> <laughs> a good time uh, while you're whatever you're doing, sheltering in place. Maybe you're an essential worker, whatever you're right. Um, so if you're out there and you're nervous, and that's the other thing, fear, fear absolutely um, is a depressant to the immune system. Um, and so is wearing a mask. But um, just get in the sun, get your vitamin D, uh, go to the store, buy some vitamin D, um, go to the store, buy some vitamin C. 
um, when everybody else was buying uh, toilet paper, I was buying vitamin C because it's the one thing you can get it from your diet and so forth, but um, it's much easier to just supplement it uh, to, just to be sure. But I mean, you know, I, I eat a lot of stuff because uh, I'm here in the tropics with lots of fruits that are very high in vitamin C. Um, and then you have your vitamin D. Uh, here in Hawaii, uh, where I'm from, you can get uh, vitamin D just by standing outside. Um, many places, uh, it's not as easy to get vitamin D, but we're heading into the summer months. Um, those of you that are fair-skinned, even if you're 45 degrees north, you can still get vitamin D in, in huge amounts. Um, and, if you're, and if you're in doubt, supplement. They're cheap. These, I mean, vitamin D and vitamin C are among the cheaper vitamins. All right. 100th monkey out, e pluribus unum, crime stoppers. Um, this isn't about a virus. And we come out the other side smelling like roses. I'm sorry that we had to go through all of this. Um, I'm told that it was necessary. <laughs> okay. Um, but we come out the other side because how many of you are going to be pissed off uh, for losing your jobs, um, for losing your businesses, um, for loss of income, loss of all the different things that have gone with, with, with basically people that have no authority to tell you what to do, uh, telling you what to do, trying to give you orders, right? And who were the ones that were giving you orders? Um, was it a D or an R? Was it was Trump telling you to stay home, or did he leave it up to the governors? Well, now you see who the governors are. Now you see who the mayors are. Now you see what would happen if you gave them some power and they were not restrained by this thing called the Constitution. Um, anyway, so now you get to see. Choice is yours, right? You can keep voting for these people, or um, you can hold them and restrain them with the power of law. Whereas they're trying to give you rules and policy for enforcement officials. And if you sign that contract, I'm not going to go down the road. Anyway, but the idea is um, take a look at what's going on uh, sober and, uh, yeah, and then uh, govern yourselves accordingly. Vitamin D, my friends, right? That's <laughs> simple as that. Get over your fears. Get out of your house. Get in the sun. Uh, enjoy your summer. And I will talk to you guys soon.